hey, badass business owners, I need to get real. I'm just not motivated. And that is a horrible thing to admit out loud. You know, it's not from a lack of knowing. I know what I need to get done. I know how to do what I need to get done. But at the same time, I'm finding myself going through the motions. And let's face it, it's way easier to work in the business than it is on the business. And I'm sure some of you know what I mean. I'm going to bet you if you're like me, you have been procrastinating and putting off doing the things that you know will help you make your business better. The working on the business, you know what, diving into things, getting things taken care of, working on those processes, putting things in place that you know will grow your customers, things that you know your customers need. But instead, you turn around and you just start working on the things that are right now in front of your face and the things that need to get done right now as far as business, working in the business. And I have been struggling with this for a few months now. What's amazing is sometimes people won't see it because they see that I am busy. I am doing things. I am getting things done. And they are absolutely correct. I mean, I still fill up my day. It's not that I don't get things done. It's just I'm working on things that are I don't know if I wouldn't say easier because the things I'm procrastinating on aren't necessarily hard. It's just getting the body and the mind all lined up to say, go focus on this one thing and get this thing fixed. Kind of funny coming from someone who preaches to you guys all the time, huh? But you know what? You're not alone. I guess that's the biggest reason why I felt the need to share this with you because everybody suffers from this. I don't care who they are. Billionaires suffer from this. Millionaires suffer from this. Some of the most successful people you know suffer from this. I don't care what anybody tells you. It's very rare that somebody doesn't go through cycles where they want to work in their business versus on their business. I couldn't tell you what causes that, honestly, because if I knew, I could turn mine off in a heartbeat. But I do know one thing. And when I get like this, what I have to do is I have to pick that one thing that I know I need to do and just do it. But don't get me wrong. There's many times when I pick that one thing and I start it and then I still give up on it. Not because I want to, it's not flowing, it's not there. And what happens is, honestly, we all get into our heads. We create this cycle for ourselves where we just think, ugh, okay. And then we continue to put more and more energy into that, ugh, okay. And pretty soon we find ourselves deep into this rabbit hole of where we really just don't care and we don't want to get it done. But meanwhile, our brain is sitting there beating us up telling us, what are we doing? You know what you need to do. You need to go get this done. And now we've got this cycle of fighting within our own head where we want to beat ourselves up and be mad at ourselves when the reality is we know already. You know, it's kind of like those things. Nobody can beat you up more than you can beat yourself up. It's, it's kind of one of those moments. So I thought I would get on here and say, okay, well, maybe if I do this podcast episode where I admit that I've got this problem right now, maybe this will, one, help others understand that they're not alone, but two, maybe I could talk to myself out loud and say, what is going on? At the end of the day, each one of us is stuck, honestly, for different reasons, and I think sometimes we overthink it. For example, I had this aha moment today and and during that moment, I realized that I have been spending a lot of time working on how to get better at this craft that I've done, especially for example, if I pick, um, let's pick my YouTube channel, all right? I've been really studying and doing a lot of stuff on what makes a better channel and what makes better videos because I want to help as many of you guys as I can. So I've been really studying all these different things and there comes this point where you have a lot of knowledge, it's the execution piece of it. Like I'm not really learning anything new that I don't already know. But because I have been immersed in it, I think what's happened is I'm in my head. And when I'm in my head, I start overthinking it. And then when I start to do it, I'm not happy with the results. I don't like the way that it looks or whatever the case may be. And then I get discouraged and I'm like, okay, this isn't coming out the way that it's visioned in my head. As opposed to doing what I know I should do and what I would definitely preach to anybody else is just do it. Stop trying to get perfection because every little thing you do gets you one step closer to what your end goal is. I know that. And that's the funny part. I have my own fights inside my own head with the advice that I would give anybody else and me listening to my own advice. 
And today when I had that aha moment, I realized I needed to do two things. One, I need to come on here, like I said, and have this honest dialogue with you. But when I get done with the podcast today, I do these on Sunday morning. Afterwards, what I'm going to do is that video that has been sitting in my little box that I've started about five times. I'm just going to go in and I'm just going to finish it because it's nice, simple, short. It's not even one that should like hurt my brain because it's not anything major. Uh, But why am I stuck on it? It's because I'm in my head. I'm trying to find that perfection going, oh, it's not going to be what I want it to be. Who cares? That's right. Who cares? I just need to put it out there because all I need is one or two people that says, you know what? Thanks. That that helped me. And if I do that, then guess what? I'd hit the goal that I have for every single piece of content that I put out. I don't care if it's a blog post, if it's YouTube, it's the podcast. As long as one or two of you guys can resonate with whatever I say, then I know it was success because it was a message I was meant to deliver to you. I know that the universe told me, do this and you're going to help somebody. And that's all that matters when I'm doing stuff. And when I look at the other pieces of my business and other areas that I'm doing the exact same thing on, it's because I've allowed myself to be overwhelmed with everything that I need to get done, as opposed to just saying, all right, stop just stop the madness, write them down, pick one thing and get that one thing done. Live up to that one commitment and you'll start moving forward and getting something done. And yes, something that could probably take you a couple of hours might take you 10 hours. That's fine. You at least got it done. Yes, you dragged it out. Yes, you had procrastination. Yes, you lacked the motivation, but you did it. You got it done and you made a difference. And then what will happen is slowly you will get yourself out of that funk. But when you sit here in the funk, you don't have that energy. So you you really have to pull yourself up by your bootstraps and say, all right, time to get this done. I I, got to get something done, make something happen. So I I don't mean to get on here and rattle with you guys and stuff like that, but I'm just, and I'm just doing a stream of conscience thing today uh, where I wanted to share And in this, for some of you, you're going to tune out already, or you've already moved on and that's okay because it wasn't meant for you. Um, But for those of you that are really struggling saying, Hey, I have all these things I want to get done in my business, but I just lack the motivation. Just know you're not alone. Okay. And one, you will come out of this. I promise you, you will come out of it. We all do. It's just, we get stuck in there and, and ask yourself if, if you're like me, are you doing it because you're overthinking it? That you have been putting so much energy into it in, in the thought process that you just need to turn off your brain and just go do it. Uh, I know for me, that's a lot of my problem is my brain just starts going and then I get into my head and, and it, it throws me all off. And it's not the first time this has ever happened. Um, it's happened before. And I also know me, I'm one of those procrastinators since the time I was in school. If I had a paper due, I would wait to the very last minute and then I would get it done. And because I would always get good grades with it, because I work best under pressure, then, you know, I've put that, I guess, subconsciously into me that, yeah, you can wait till the last minute. You, you're really good with it. And it's not just work, by the way. I had some stuff that I had to have done uh, in the last uh, week or so that had a timeline on it. And I waited to the last minute to do them. They all came out fine, just like I thought they would. But meanwhile, the stress and the the anxiety, I wouldn't even say it's, it's all that, but there's parts and degrees of it. If I would have just knocked it out in the beginning, it wouldn't even have been on my brain and I wouldn't have had to wait till the last minute. So yeah, procrastination is real. And uh, I know a lot of people suffer from that. And uh, it's, but at the same time, it gets done. I guess my main thing is I wish there was a magic bullet. There isn't a magic bullet, but I can tell you that you can't give up. Keep writing down those ideas. Even if today is not the day for you, write them down. Okay. Just keep a log of it. Keep knowing what you need to do and just try to every day, take a step forward with it. It might be you last a minute. You might last five minutes. You might last an hour. doesn't matter. Just try to make progress on one of those goals. One of the biggest things you know you need to do in your business because you're going to start feeling better. Because I'm telling you, this feeling horrible when you think back over what could be today, if you would have just done it yesterday, will eat you up. And I know that I've been there. I can sit here and think of all the things that I could have accomplished over the last week, last month, last year, whatever, that due to this being stuck at times has put off me getting it done. And, um, you know, 
a lot of times we overestimate what we could get done. So we tend to beat ourselves up for stuff that, you know, honestly, we were never going to get that done. But it's so much more fun if we beat ourselves up for stuff we think we could have gotten done. And uh, I just don't want you to do that. All right. Uh, so no magic bullet today, just to let you know that you're not alone. And uh, I challenge you to do what I'm going to do. I am going to today work on crossing off one of those items that I have delayed and delayed and delayed. And I'm not going to give myself any excuses. I'm not going to let myself get into my head and say, oh, that's not good enough. Or this is just, uh, I don't feel like doing it. No, keep going. You made a commitment to get this done. It's going to take you an hour to finish off what it is that you need to get done, whatever it is for your particular project and just get it done. And just know that uh, I might talk about this a little bit over the next few weeks. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it, you know, how it flows, but, um, just know that you're not alone and, um, I'm just being real with you where I'm at right now. So if you don't see as much content, uh, as you have in the past, it's just the funk thing. And uh, I think it's just a lot of things going on. And, um, I think my brain's just going into too many directions. And I find that when my brain starts going into too many directions, that's when it starts to shut down. And I think that's what's been going on, but no excuses. And what's awesome. I just want to tell you guys, I will tell you here on this podcast, what keeps me coming back every single Sunday is because I don't want to let you guys down. And uh, it's a good thing because honestly, I don't know if I would have kept doing the podcast uh, because there's been times in my head when I've said, eh, I don't know. But you know what? I, I don't want to let you guys down. So I sit down every Sunday and I record this podcast. And could they be better? Yes. Could they be worse? Yeah, <laughs> but I don't want that. I, I just try to be real with whatever comes to my head at that moment and know that there's the message is out there for somebody and somebody new is going to discover and they're going to go, wow, okay, she's talking to me. So when it comes to your business, I want you doing the same thing. Just do it. Just keep taking steps. Find something that you can latch onto that you know will will force you to get something done. And it's just another trick. All right, I, I'm still what, rattling. So I'm gonna get out of here and just know you're not alone, okay? If you're suffering from this, you're not alone. Uh, everybody gets it. Every single person, I don't care how successful they are, they all go through the funk. You're just going through the funk and I promise you that you will come out of it too. All right, with that, I'm out of here. I'll talk to you on the next episode for real. Bye-bye.